All right, Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. This is another GMS Raleigh collaboration once again through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. I'm the brother Nakwam. Brother Nakam. Shalom, War. And before we get this Lord's with the edifying lesson, we want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh. Bahashim. 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 Yahusha. 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 Bahashim. Racha. Kodash. Bahashim. Racha. Kodash. Racha. Kodash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and other bishops of Great Millstone, who still got there in the hollers and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and Heru well. And Shalom to y'all, the Akims that's out there in the four corners of the earth pushing this truth. In the name of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, out of fear and sincerity of heart. You know, in today's lesson is pretty much going into how the Lord controls all things, man. All right? Who the world ignorant because God and Jesus Christ is the one that's controlling everything that's going on on the planet Earth, man. So, uh, now come, you can bring yours out first. Y'all heard that. This is Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 39. Mm hmm. See now that I, even I, am he. Mm -hmm. And there is no God with me. Right, this is the Heavenly Father Yahweh speaking, man. He said, See now that I am uh, I am he, man. You see, there ain't no, he said, There's no other power with me. I mean, there's no other gods up there giving counsel with the Lord, man. These other gods that these people serve and these other heathen nations serve, man. You know, they're just idols, man. They're not up there with Yahweh by Shemel Shah, you know, giving counsel. Read on. And there is no God with me. Right. I kill and I make a lie. Right. See, and that's plain right there. You can't get around that. The Lord said he kills and he makes a lie. So if anybody that uh, gets deleted from the planet Earth, you know, that was the Lord that did it, man. Okay. That situation that happened in Texas and Buffalo, and there's going to be more that's going to happen in the near future. That was all predestinated and written by Yahweh Bashim al Shah for that to happen. At the same time, the ones that survived, you know, the Lord allowed that to happen. Read on. I wound and I heal. Right, I wound and I heal, man. The Lord is the one that gives out the injuries, man. You see? Whether it be sickness, whether you. A break a bone, whether you, you know, get seriously injured. Yahweh Bashim is the one that did that, and the Lord is the only one that can heal that too. Read on. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. The Lord said, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So what the Lord says, uh, somebody got to go, they going to go, man. Okay? There ain't no if, ands, or buts about it. Okay, if the Lord gives an angel an order to go take this person out the earth, delete that person, it's going to happen, man. And there ain't nothing nobody can say, do, or think about it. That was in that, brother? Uh -huh. Bring out that next one. First Samuel, chapter 2, verse 6. Yup. The Lord kill him. That's right. And make him alive. Yup. He bring it down to the grave. Yup. And bring it up. See, the Lord was the one that uh, allowed us to have our nationality taken away, us going into slavery, us discontinuing from our heritage, all right, and being in that dead state of mind, thinking like these other heathen nations, okay? But also, the Lord was the one is the one that's controlling this great awakening, man. Us coming back to our heritage, our nationality, us being Hebrew Israelites, knowing the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. The Lord was the one that controlling all that, man. Read on. Verse 7. The Lord, Yahweh, make him poor yep. and make him rich. Right. See, so if you're homeless or bum on the streets, man, you see, it was the Lord that put you in that position, man. Same thing with these celebrities, man, the ones that got millions of dollars, okay? They wealthy. They got they got everything that they could ever desire. It was because Yahweh, is the one that, that allowed that to happen. Read on. He bring a loaf mm -hmm. and a lift a boat. Mm-hmm. Hey, so that was the point on that, man. Yahweh Bashim Asha lift a flow. He, he lift a up. He brought her, he brought us down to the grave. You know what I'm saying? Us losing our nationality. And he's the one that gave our nationality back, man, and put it in our remembrance. That was the internet. Uh-huh. 
Mm -hmm. All right, so bring out that next one. There's a song, chapter 58, verse 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation. Which is who? Yahweh by Shimei Asha. The Lord is the only one that can bring us salvation. Salvation goes in the rescue, man. You see, or deliverance. And only the Lord can do that. The Lord is the only one that can deliver us out of this captivity that we're in, man. All right? Read on. It says, And unto you, how about Shema Shah belongs the issues from death. Yeah, belongs the issues from death. Now, my sword and my Bible, and that word issues goes into escape. So the only way how you can escape death and destruction is judging from the Lord is you coming back to your nationality, taking heed to what the word says to the best of your abilities, man. Like Psalms 119 and 9 says, Where were thoughts that a young man clean his way? By taking heed thereto, according to the scriptures, man, according to thy word. That was it or not? Uh, and the only ones that's going to escape the death and destruction on this side is the elect of the nation of Israel. Because two thirds is going to be left here and they're going to get deleted. So, Shamar, you up next. Uh, this is uh, Sarah chapter 11, verse 14. Yep. Prosperity and adversity. Right, prosperity right. and adversity, man. When you're doing well, okay, you're prospering, everything is going right. And also adversity, when you're catching a whole lot of hell, when everything seems uh, all, all hopeless, man. You see? Read on. Life and death. Life and death. Read on. Poverty and riches. Right, life and death. Also, you know, that can go, that's twofold. That can go to a physical and a spiritual aspect, man. You see, the Lord was the one that awoke us up to make us a spiritual alive. You know what I'm saying? And also the Lord is the one that's keeping our majority of our people in a spiritually dead state of mind. Read that over again. Sarah chapter 11 and 14. Prosperity and adversity. Yep. Life and death. Yep. Poverty and riches. Yep. Come from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh See, that comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the God of the Bible. Who the world ignorant calls God and Jesus Christ. See, the Lord is the one that controls everything, man. Like the scripture says on the screen in the background, a person's steps are directed by the Lord. How then can anyone understand their own way, man? So the ways of how everybody's moving in the planet Earth, man, it's all controlled by the Lord, man. You see? Read on. Um, verse 15. Mm -hmm. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding mm -hmm. of the law or of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Yep. Love and the way of good works mm -hmm. are from him. Yep, see it comes from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, the wisdom, the knowledge and understanding that we got of the scriptures, us keeping the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability. That all comes from the Lord, man. That all comes from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. As well as well as the flip side, the ones of our people that's repent that's a uh, rebellion. They don't want to repent. All right. They don't want to come back to their nationality. That's controlled by the Lord as well. Because the Lord controls both sides of the spectrum, man. Bring out that next one, Baba Kasha. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. Yup. I formed the light and create darkness. Right. The Lord said he formed the light and create darkness, man. Okay. Once again, you know, that's a spiritual and a, a literal aspect, man. Read on. I make peace and create evil. Right. The Lord said he makes peace and creates evil, man. Evil goes into bad times. So the bad times that we're seeing right about now and that's going to turn up and intensify as these as the days go on, that's all controlled from you. How about Shem Shah, man? Okay. And also the peace, okay, that we're going to get in the kingdom and the peace of mind that we have now through these scriptures, that also comes from you. How about Shem Shah? We don't. I, Yahweh Shah, do all these things. Right, the Lord said he do all these things. See, this is Yahweh Bashim Yahusha boasting in his power, man. And why and why wouldn't he? He's the creator, man. The Lord said, No, I'm the one that's doing all this. If anything goes down on the planet Earth, whether it's good or whether it's bad, I'm the one that's doing it. That's what the Lord is saying, man. Don't nothing get past for Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. All right, the Lord controls all things. As a matter of fact, when you look at the definition of the word control, it says the power to inflict, to influence 
or direct people's behavior or the course of events. So the prophecies that's happening and the way how these people are acting, the love of many wax and cold, the, the division amongst the people, that's all controlled by Yahweh Bashem Shah, man. Go on to that last one, Baba Kasha. This is Job chapter 1, verse 21. Mm -hmm. And said, Naked I came out of my mother's womb, mm -hmm. and naked shall I return thither. Yep. It says, The Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh gave. Yep. And Taken away. And that's and that's everything, man. Okay, the wisdom and knowledge and understanding that we have, the Lord is the one that gave us that, man. Because we wasn't born with it. You see, it wasn't taught to us back in the world. It was the Lord's Holy Spirit that came upon us to understand these scriptures. But guess what? The Lord is the one that can take it away, too. You see? Just like everything, man. Our possessions, our house, you know what I'm saying? Our, our women, you know, kids. You know, everything, man. The Lord is the one that gave us it. And the Lord is also the one that take us away, man. Whether it be for uh, um, for our betterment, you know, or it's judgment, man. Either way, Yahweh Bashim uh controls both sides of the spectrum. That was it on that, my brother? Oh, it's like it. A little bit more. Blessed be the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Right. The Lord, con I mean, uh, Job control, uh, kept his integrity, man. You see, the Lord, he said the Lord is the one that give up and take up away. Because the Lord took away what Job had, man. You see? And brought uh, uh, nothing but pure hell to him. But uh, he still said, Barak, I thought you all about Shemir all shot, man. You know? And that's the same spirit that we got to be in, man. We're talking to ourselves first and foremost. There's a little bit more on that. Oh, that was, that was it? Yep. Read on. It says, verse 22, In all this, Job said not, nor charged the most high foolishly. Mm -hmm. Yep, see, so he kept this integrity, man. Because his wife was like, hey, you still got your integrity, curse the most high and die. The Lord took your kids, the Lord took your wealth. He brought these boils upon you, catching up to a pure hell, you know? But, but Job was like, nah, the Lord gave me everything, and he the one that took it away. Barak, I thank you all about Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Because we nothing without the Lord. That was internet, my brother. So, hey, Lord, when this is edifying through the spirit of Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem This is another GMS Vada collaboration once again. Lord, until on. next time, me and the brother say Shalom. Shalom. Hold on. There we go.